Good morning and welcome to another fantastic day. Um, today, you guys, I wanted to quick show you guys what I do for my morning stretch routine. There's yoga kind of involved, but it's really just basic stretching to open up your chest, upper back, all of that kind of stuff. Um, usually it takes me around 15 minutes. I can get it down to 10 if I'm kind of going quickly through it. Um, but I've found that if I do this pretty much every single day, I'm feeling so much better. Um, but before I begin, I just want to like call something to your attention. And it should be obvious, but until you see it demonstrated, it's really not. So when we think of thoracic outlet syndrome, we know that we're rounding forward. Our shoulders are coming in, our head's coming forward. We're just in this poor posture that then makes all of our muscles up top kind of stressed, makes the muscles in our low back stressed. And then you have just this systematic thing through your entire body that is kind of going a little crazy. So what I want you to think about is day to day. How are you actually moving, right? So think of it when we wake up, we're first laying straight on the bed, okay? Our spine is nice and stretched. And that's kind of one of the first times that maybe you are lengthening. Okay, but then we wake up and we come into this seated position where now all of a sudden everything, we're rounding forward, we're compressing here in our hip flexors. Okay, so we walk to the breakfast table, we sit. Maybe you're going to work, you sit in your car, you get out, you go to your desk, you sit. You're noticing a very similar pattern. You get home, you have dinner, you sit on the couch, maybe you're in like some little extra curled position. But what I want you guys to notice is almost all day, you're in this rounded position that is not stretching your front body. So when we are stuck like that, you know, whether you acknowledge it or not, that's when we start to really round forward and we have the bad posture. So first, I like to make sure as I'm walking, it feels so silly, but I will throw myself out of balance and then way over correct, pushing my hips forward, pressing my chin back, rolling my shoulders back and holding them up just slightly. You look kind of like a robot. The first few times you do it, you're like, wow, I feel strange, right? But then all of a sudden you notice your posture so much better, you're walking, you're feeling your glutes engage as you walk, you're feeling a lengthening through your hip flexors. So that's super important, we walk, we notice. And then I don't even sit on my furniture half the time, I literally, you guys, come down to the floor and I'm sitting and I'm moving because the more I'm doing that, the more I am gauging all of the muscles kind of everywhere and helping build that, right? So, and again, even when I'm here, am I slouching forward or am I sitting up nice and tall? So I just wanted you guys to think about that um, because I know before I really got into noticing my posture and my habitual traits, I was definitely this person where I'm just sitting and curled and, you know, maybe my legs are leaned on the side of the couch and I'm there often and, you know, you don't really realize the toll that that's taking on your body. Um, so just be mindful of it. Notice, have you moved in an hour? Get up and actually move. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna move into my stretch routine. I hope this kind of gives you a little, a little something. Um, I'm actually going to set my alarm so I can really kind of monitor what I would do. So I always start with just sitting on the ground, sitting up again, working on my posture, and just breathing. I just do that for, you know, 10 breaths or so, really big inhale into the nose, lifting my shoulders up, loop, looping them back and down my spine, pulling my belly button in as I breathe. Because again, the more we're working that lower diaphragm, the more we are going to help encourage our posture. So I just breathe. also a nice time for me to remind myself of why I'm doing this, right? Because I'm so much stronger and in more in control than my body. My body is this beautiful 
beautiful vessel that knows how to heal itself. So once you start implementing good patterns, good routines, new habits, um, you'll notice a change. And that was all your choice. No doctor, no surgery, no pill is going to correct that because those are all just, unless it's the most extreme cases, those are a band-aid in my opinion. You know, so do what you can, take care of yourself. Starts in the brain. I can do this. I am strong enough. This TOS, not my TOS, this TOS. So again, we breathe. And then I move on to my all fours. And before I even do anything, I rotate my wrist towards my knees. So I turn them to the edge of my mat and then back. So that way I can lengthen through my forearm here, right? Because we, I know you guys probably get a lot of a burning sensation. That's not pleasant. You get really stiff. Now here, I make sure I'm mindful. I roll my shoulders down my spine, keeping the space between my ears and keeping my head nice and long, not letting it droop forward, not arching it back too much. If you arch it back too much, then you're cutting off those nerves at the back, which then can again create more issues. So I sit here and I breathe. I focus on that breath. Sometimes I think about, it sounds really heavy, but I think about sending my breath to these muscles and visualizing those muscle, muscles lengthening, right? Right now they are contracting and that's when they start to cause the pain. So I just breathe and I visualize that expansion. And I do this for maybe 30 seconds or you can breathe for 10 breaths, whatever is comfortable for you here. I will go from this static pose into something a little more dynamic. So I will start to arch my back, pulling my the top of my uh, back here towards the sky. And then inhale, push my belly forward, push my chest forward. And I keep that going, so that's gonna work my upper back. Um, a lot of your trap muscles kind of play into this. And your traps go not just up here, but they connect kind of down into the mid back in this like triangular structure, right? So the more movement that we can get in our spine, the better. I'll shift side to side and I can feel kind of some like crunchiness going on. Sounds gross, but I know I'm working with stuff. And then again, I roll up and sit back onto my heels. I spin through my wrists here. Um, it'll probably feel pretty stiff. You might get a little burning sensation. And that's just really you waking everything up. Okay, so it's pretty normal. Flex your wrists down towards the floor, up towards your face, side to side. And then we come back into our tabletop. We're gonna open our knees as wide as the mat. Bring my left hand, I'll do my right hand first. Bring my right hand underneath of my nose. Inhale, open my arm. Now I know some of you, this might be hard. Don't bring that arm forward over your head. Pull it back so we're not creating that compression at the shoulder. And if you can only lift, you know, to here, 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 in time, you'll be able to really open up. This is just helping open up that chest, open up your shoulder here. Pull your shoulder to the back wall. You've seen this pose done a lot in the yoga classes and it's because it's, it's so beneficial for getting us out of this winding. So I tap it down, I lift it back up. And that's just getting much more of that dynamic movement. First we stretch, then we really work it out. You can do that however many times you want. I think go to 10. And then you go to the opposite side, you bring that left hand down pull that right arm to the sky, pull your shoulder blade to the back wall. Make sure you press up and out of that left shoulder though. We don't want to sink in because that would cause that compression in the shoulder. Sometimes I'll spin my wrist at the top, just kind of getting everything. Rotate my arms, so I'm rotating within that shoulder socket. You can always drop your arm down here to your hip, or your hand to your hip, pull that shoulder and elbow to the back wall. Now we move into that dynamic movement, tap it down, open it up. Tap, open, tap, open, however many you want to go. Connect it to your breath. Inhale, lifting, exhale, lower. Breath is so important. 
to help actually get that oxygen into your muscles and so on. So now I come back into my tabletop position with my knees underneath my hips, my wrists under my shoulders, and I drop it down. Now this pose that I'm going to do next, this might be a little tricky for some of you, um, so just monitor. So I walk my knees back, I open my arms just slightly wider on that mat, and then I drop my chest towards the floor. This can cause that compression at your shoulders, so again, really listen to your body. I find that if I do this long enough, looping my shoulder blades down my back. I don't get any compression, but instead I'm strengthening all of these muscles in my upper body. You can look forward to get a deeper stretch, but again, listen to your body. Do not do anything that's going to cause you pain. Inhale, come forward onto your belly. I open up my arms wide and bring my forehead, or not my forehead, my cheek down to the mat. Pull that left hand in, lift my leg up to the sky, wrap it back in behind. Now this is opening up through my chest here. I've got my right hand behind me flat on the floor. You can keep your head on the floor or you can lift up. You can find what's comfortable for you here. Pull that knee towards the back wall and just breathe. Monitor what your body is feeling, right? You might have to shift a little forward if you're feeling any kind of stinging or burning or anything like that pinching in your chest and shoulder area. You might have to move your hand around behind you just to get into a good spot. I know that's not very specific, but you will, you'll be able to feel what's comfortable. You want something that is going to be comfortable with the arm behind you. And you just breathe. And I roll onto my belly and I go to the opposite side. Again, dropping that leg back behind. And you'll notice we've done some of these in our yoga practices. It's all one in the same where we're working on stretching, we're working on moving the body in a way that is comfortable, but also is going to support continuing healing through this journey. Pull that knee to that back wall. Find what's comfortable. Right now I'm getting a little too intense, so I pull my knee in, I pull my body towards the right side of my mat, just slightly taking it, that pressure out. So I feel a stretch, but I don't feel anything that's painful. Cool, roll back onto your belly, come all the way back up. Now, the thing that I'm going to do next, I'm going to use my medicine ball. Um, I would not recommend this for you yet, um, unless you have some opening already in your chest. But if you know you're pretty rounded and even stretching your arms out like this hurts, I would get yourself two pillows, stack them up, put them right underneath of your mid to upper back, lay over them, let your arms fall open. Now, I've been doing this long enough um, that I can move on to my medicine ball. So I, again, I set my low back on it. I'm gonna pull my hair back real quick. I set my low back on it. I keep my feet planted on the ground, knees bent. Support my head as I come back because you want to make sure you're not stressing your neck muscles any more than they already are. And then I start just here where I just let my arms hang to the side. This is creating such an amazing stretch through my chest just by using gravity, right? I'm letting my arms drop below my body here. And I just breathe. I'm a fidgeting kind of person, so. I will sometimes start to just rock the ball. It's not something you have to do. You can stay in stillness. I just, I'm a mover. Once I get to a certain spot where I feel like I've been pretty good, I will begin to straighten my legs out, bringing my feet flat to the ground. You can always come onto your heels, whatever is comfortable. But what this is starting to do, it's not only opening through my chest, it's opening through my stomach, it's opening through my hip flexors. Because remember I said, all day we are coming forward and we're in this compressed position. So the more we start to do the exact opposite, the more you are going to find full body relief. Um, I know we focus on our shoulders and our traps and our chest and our neck as the focal point of thoracic outlet syndrome, but 
the reality is, is everything in our body is connected. You know, some of our, like I said, our traps, yeah, they come up here, but they go to mid back. You know, we just have so many lines of muscle and fascia, which is the connective tissue that run spiraling around the body from like head to toe. So the more you can start to integrate full body stretching, the more you are going to really, truly feel this. So I stay here for just a little bit with my arms wide, my legs long, feet on the floor. And then I will start to use my feet to kind of walk myself. So now the ball is coming to low back and at my hips and I'm actively pushing my hips towards the ceiling. My arms now can touch the ground. You don't want to rush into this because if you do, you haven't warmed up your body enough in order to get that opening without potentially injuring yourself. So we stay for several breaths in one area and then we move. And I get to where I can pretty much drop my head down. I bring my arms out. Again, I'll play around with my arm position, just finding what's comfortable. And sometimes I'll even just bring my arms here and let the focus be at my hips. Sometimes I do have to, I'll feel a little like pinch in my back and I'll grab my head and kind of come up into almost a crunch and that will honestly crack my back, um, kind of get everything comfortable so I'm coming back. And I get to the point where I inch myself back, my, the top of my head comes to the floor, I'm pressing my legs towards the ground so I'm really feeling that stretch through my hip flexors. The first time I did this, you guys, it hurt like, uh, <laughs> You know what word I'm looking for there. It was not comfortable, but I just focused on my breath and I found the more that I did this, the more I came back to it every single day is when I started having 100% relief. I go weeks on end without even having any symptoms. And when I have symptoms, it's not that intense pain or burning. It is a minor tightness, usually in my trap or in my neck. So again, I just breathe, press my legs down, and you can kind of play around here when you press, lift your legs slightly, so you're getting like an active stretch here. And then when you're ready, you just roll out of it. You can come back into that original pose just for a little bit. I like to kind of massage through, so I'll go through my entire spine, dropping my hips down. Now, this for me is kind of a warm up for what I'm about to do next with my yoga wheel. I wanna get my whole spine ready to go um, because again, the, the deeper you go into these stretches or back bends, the more you need to warm up so you don't injure yourself. So I allow myself to come down to the floor, push myself off, and then I round forward, get all those crunches out of my back, hold it here for just a second. Sit up nice and tall, loop the shoulders back, and just breathe. I'll spiral through my neck here. And then usually I will set this aside and I will move into my yoga wheel, which this is nice because this acts almost as a foam roller for my back, but also as a way to, uh, to stretch. So again, start with pillows. <laughs> That's the beginner level pillows. Intermediate would be the ball and a little bit more advanced where you're not feeling anything. No pain, no tension, no burning. That's when I would say move on to your yoga wheel. So again, just like with the ball, I start legs out in front. I position this so my spine is in the middle of this. You can see it's kind of narrow. So I bring it there and then I slowly ease myself in. Now you'll find your body wants to hold those muscles. So I'll first roll through my spine, straightening my legs, letting it come through my shoulders. Notice I put my hands behind my head. That's both to support my neck, but also with my arms engaged, I'm really foam rolling through my shoulder blades here, allowing those muscles there to completely relax. All right, and then I get to a spot where I know I'm ready. I first lengthen through my legs, and then slowly I listen to my body and I allow my head to fall back using my hands to help support my neck. 
and then I release my arms down. And just like I did before, I'll slowly start to roll through, bringing the wheel to my low back, pressing my legs down, setting my hips up, bringing the top of my head to the ground. And again, you'll find what is gonna be comfortable for you. I could hang out here for 15 to 20 minutes, and sometimes I do if I have the time. Um, but like I said, I wanna keep this to about 15. I'm at 16 minutes right now. You could shorten however long you're laying over the pillows or any other aspect. Um, but truly, you guys, this, this routine has been one of the most beneficial things in my journey. Um, I, I feel like that missing key was stretching the entire front body um, while you're also working on whether you're going to physical therapy or finding people, um, I think his name is, well it's Gareth, but I think it's Muscle Mind Max. I'll link his YouTube below, um, but he does a lot of physical therapy, rehabilitation stuff, and when my doctors couldn't give me an answer, I pretty much just took it into my own hands to find people who've had similar things, um, who found recovery for themselves without surgery, and it's just been a journey. I mean, a year and a half later, and I have almost no pain. I'm getting to where I have very little fatigue flare-ups. Um, I can start to lift things above my head, and it's it's truly been an amazing journey. So I just wanted to provide this for you um, as something that I know works. I will do it both morning and night, especially when I'm working, I'm an art teacher. Um, I love my morning routine starting this way because I, I know that it's gonna be so beneficial for my body throughout the day and then I get home, I do it again and I just, I feel so good. So. With that, I will see you guys soon. Thank you for stretching with me this morning. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.